everyone and welcome to our daily devotions for today, Thursday the 1st of July. We continue the theme for this week of the way of the kingdom. And as always, we begin with our opening prayer. Let's pray together. Gracious God, we thank you for the hope you have given us in Christ, the promise of your eternal kingdom, where there will be no more pain, no more sorrow, no more evil, and no more death. We thank you that we can look beyond this life to a life yet to come, beyond this world to a new creation, a new heaven and a new earth, in which your will shall finally be done. But we thank you also for life now and for the fact that you are present within it for the joy, the loveliness, and the blessings that surround us. So much to thrill and to satisfy, despite everything that conspires against your love. Teach us that you have not washed your hands of this world, but instead loved it enough to die for it. That you care about the welfare of all and seek to guide, to protect, to renew, and to restore. Help us to glimpse your presence among us, to recognise your hand at work, and through offering our service, to play our part in bringing your kingdom closer here on earth, as it is in heaven. Amen. Luke chapter 13. On a Sabbath, Jesus was teaching in one of the synagogues, and a woman was there who had been crippled by a spirit for eighteen years. She was bent over and could not straighten up at all. When Jesus saw her, he called her forward and said to her, Woman, you are set free from your infirmity. Then he put his hands on her, and immediately she straightened up and praised God. Indignant because Jesus had healed on the Sabbath, the synagogue leader said to the people, There are six days for work, so come and be healed on those days, not on the Sabbath. The Lord answered him, You hypocrites! Doesn't each of you on the Sabbath untie your ox or donkey from the stall and lead it out to give it water? Then should not this woman a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has kept bound for eighteen long years, be set free on the Sabbath day from what bound her? When he said this, all his opponents were humiliated, but the people were delighted with all the wonderful things he was doing.
Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory in the heavens. Through the praise of children and infants, you have established a stronghold against your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is mankind? that you are mindful of them, human beings, that you care for them. You have made them a little lower than the angels and crowned them with glory and honor. You made them rulers over the works of your hands. You put everything under their feet, all flocks and herds and the animals of the wild, the birds in the sky and the fish in the sea, all that swim the paths of the seas. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. We come now to our closing prayer for today. Let's pray together. Sovereign God, save us from getting too comfortable in following you, from ever assuming that we know all that there is to know. Remind us that you are greater than we can begin to imagine, that whatever we have grasped of your love, your grace, your goodness and your purpose, it is only a fraction of the whole. Instill in us then a hunger to learn more, a yearning to know you better, a thirst each day for new insights into who and what you are. Open our lives to the great adventure of faith and help us to embrace it with heart and mind and soul. As we pray in the name of Christ. Amen.